Also born this day in 1946, a future weatherman at WSM in Nashville and KNBC in Los Angeles. It was a job in L.A. that landed Pat Sajak the gig we know him best for when he took over for Chuck Woolery as a host of Wheel of Fortune. Sajak is a focus of today's Through the Decades profile as we dig into the CBS archive for an interview in 1988 with Harry Smith about Wheel and Sajak's upcoming talk show. Today, Wheel of Fortune takes a new spin. For the first time ever, it will be taped at Radio City Music Hall in New York before an audience of 6,000 people. Joining us now to talk about Wheel and his late-night talk show premiering on CBS in January is Pat Sajak. Good morning. Good morning. Why is the Wheel <laughs> over at Radio City Music Hall? We had some free tickets on an airline. We thought we'd, we'd load it aboard and come on. Cash them in? We have never traveled with the show, and um, uh, it seemed like something we ought to do. You know, America seems to love us, so we thought we'd go out and see America. What is it? It costs, I read somewhere it costs $1.7 million to so put the show on. Did you? You, you don't know. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> I wonder City. if Merv knows that. That's, uh, right. that's very expensive. Uh, it's a big uh, production, you know, to get into radio. Radio City, uh, and uh, I, I don't know what it's going li to be like to do the show in front of 6,000 people. I don't know what it's going to be like to say to 6,000 New Yorkers, shh, don't whisper the answer. I think that's going to be interesting. That's right. Are they all going to yell out at once, buy a vowel? Or... <laughs> I don't know what they're going to yell, that's but right. it's going to be interesting. Yeah. yeah. Are you, January is really minutes away and the start of your show. Yeah. You know, it's funny. When, uh, when the announcement was made that I was doing the late night show on CBS, this is one of the first shows you I was on. Here, exactly. Right? And uh, it seemed far off, you know. This was last spring, mm -hmm. and now, as you say, it's a, it's a couple of minutes away. But we're ready. We have our staff uh, just about on board, except for uh, the writers that we're working on now. In a couple of uh, couple of weeks, we'll have announcements regarding some of the other on-air people. You're going to have a couch. I mean, what, what's, I the, what's the thing well, going to look like? So you really want a furniture report? Basically. <laughs> <Is that it? laughs> Who's your interior decorator? That's we what. will we will in fact have a couch, and we will have a desk, and and a lot of those things you have seen on other talk shows. You know, it's funny how how programmed we are when we were sitting down with the set for uh, working out the set and they're building a studio for us mm -hmm. in Hollywood this is big time stuff uh, I could I can call Larry Tish Larry he said I could do that. Really? So think, I'm doing real well over here. Uh, anyway, um, uh, when we sat down with the set, we said, let's try, for example, <laughs> to put the guests on, on the left. As you face mm -hmm. the screen, uh, you're used to seeing the guests on the left of the host. Right. As you face the screen. So we thought, let's try it on the right, see how that looked. Well, it was like you were looking in a mirror. You cannot change some things that have been done for 30 years. So the set is not going to look all that much different from other sets. I think we'll have our own distinctive look. But we will have a couch. We will have a desk. We'll, uh, we'll have a couple of chairs, maybe an ashtray for a few smoking guests. So big plans, Harry. This is not just another show. You are already a cultural icon. That's right. I mean, you. That's the way I like how it. Many, how many millions of homes does Wheel go into every day? Uh, we're almost starting to measure in the billions. At it's just, least. It's got, at least. Yeah. All over the world. Yeah. And with this late night talk show, we won't be able to get you on the show. It's unlikely. Yeah, by March, probably. <laughs> this is probably my last appearance. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, you know, it's a, uh, it's a great new challenge and, and all those other cliches that you've come to love on the show. And, um, <laughs> but I'll come back and see you guys once a year. No matter, no matter how big a hit this nighttime show comes, I'll be back once a year, I promise. Uh, does, and this, I, does it scare you at all? It, it, I mean, in the middle of the night, you wake up and you go... Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. <laughs> John. Yeah, because I've left my Mathis records running. That's, that's why I keep doing that. Uh, not, you know, I, it may be a, just a, fl a flaw of mine, but I'm not a real nervous kind of guy, and, and it probably will serve me well in this. It's, you know, it's a TV show, and we're going to have fun with it. Uh, we're going to do a good show. The, the other stuff, the ratings, the clearances, all that, there's a limited amount I can do about that. Mm -hmm. People are going to watch or they're not going to watch. We're going to try to give them a reason to watch. I think, I think the Wheel of Fortune connection will help uh, as far as sampling is concerned. They'll at least tune in and to see what I can do, and, and we hope be pleasantly surprised. Uh, so I, I'm not nervous. I'm excited. I'm ready to get on with it. You know, I feel like I'm at the starting gate and ready to go. And you also know how vitally important it is to us <laughs> that you be successful. <laughs> Thank you. That'll because be if you get great ratings, then yeah. people will turn off their sets and wake up to us in the morning. So mm -hmm. we don't want to put any pressure on you, but so, I, have, I have Polaroid photos of you that... Yeah. yeah. So if, if my career goes in the toilet, so does yours. Is that basically what you We'll go saying? down together. <laughs> well, it'll be nice. We'll, uh, we'll glug together. There you go. Good to see you. Thanks for coming by. You today. too, Harry. Thanks a lot.